Well, Fun Knife Friday has been a little preempted. It is a Fun Knife Friday. Uh, in case you guys missed it or if you didn't see it or if you didn't see the title, we did it, guys. We did it. You guys made it get to over 1K, over 1,000 subscribers. I'm very excited. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, the channel is is growing. It's going to take off. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do everything yet, uh, but uh, in the future, I do plan on doing uh, some lives. I don't know. With my schedule, it's probably going to be very hard to do it like as a weekly thing, like some some shows are. So, what I'll do is I'll just send out a. Uh, uh, notification through YouTube. I'll put up a post saying, Hey, I'm going to go live at, you know, whatever day and time. And hopefully the majority of you can join in. If you can't, it's cool. If you can, uh, definitely, uh, do so. Then we'll have some fun and we'll, uh, talk about knives and we'll just have, have a good time. It's just, uh, one of those things. I'm really excited. I, I can't thank you all enough. I have to, give out, you know, thanks to the Apex group. They are the ones that are providing our uh, 1K giveaway knife, which I, I will go over the features again. I made a whole video on it uh, before, but we'll just review it. Uh, so that's no problem. I want to thank the BPEX group. If it wasn't for BPEX, I wouldn't even have gotten started off with the attention uh, that I did. It was through them that I made a lot of connections in the knife community among other YouTubers. And I want to thank all the YouTubers. I mean, you know, Pete, Jersey Knife Guy, he made a whole video, you know, to shout me out to get me uh, over 1K. And he did that. He was able to rally the cause and, and get, get me over that uh, goal line. And I so much appreciate that, Pete. You were an inspiration for me to start a YouTube channel and you're still an inspiration to me now uh, a 100% you know awesome guy and I just thank you so much uh, all the other friends that I've made uh, JB from Big Red EDC kind enough to interview me uh, on a channel chat when I was just a young uh, channel I don't even think I, I had a hundred subs or I might have just got to a hundred subs when I did the first one uh, and then he had me on again, which uh, is awesome because I just love JB. Who doesn't? You know, we could sit around and talk about knives for a few hours, and we have. And uh, and it's just, you know, he's another A number one guy, uh, just a, an outstanding member of the community. Uh, even all the friends that I've made uh, here, you know, Jolly Peanut, uh, Patty's Potato Peelers. Uh, JW Green Bomb, Knife Delights, Knife Detector, uh, all these guys that, you know, Thrifty Kniffy, all the guys that, that I have, you know, regular and semi-regular contact with that have been inspirations to me, been friends to me. Uh, like I said, I have a whole channel list that I keep in the description box of my uh, videos, and I put that there for us. As a community, it's for the young channels, you know, starting out, you know, to get some attention. It's for the bigger channels, you know, that most everybody knows, but maybe somebody may not know all of them. I certainly didn't. Uh, you know, I was blown away as a YouTuber. You know, you talk about your, like, uh, kind of celebrity moments and stuff. When all of a sudden, uh, Scab shouted me out and was... I was getting subs and they're like, Scab sent me. I'm like, what? How, how is that even possible? How does he even know about me? <laughs> you know? And when the big guys reach down <clears throat> and they shine a light on you. So this is for all the guys that are in, in small channels and stuff. When somebody that, that is actually doing it, making it, you know, has a pretty large subscriber base. When they look at you and they, uh, you know, give you some attention and stuff. It's it's a special moment as a content creator because you've watched these guys 
So like, for instance, and this was a, a special one for me was uh, Warthog. I had been watching Warthog's channel. I love how he presents knives. I love how he does stuff. Rick, I hope you're feeling better. I hope you hear this. Um, you know, but then not only was he watching my videos and commenting on mine, and I was already commenting on his, but then all of a sudden he'll gift you something. You know, you, you'll, you know, get a, a knife or something. And it's just awesome. You know, when people do that for you, uh, you know, and if I forget anybody, you know, in this, it's my own, uh, I didn't write down a whole list of names and stuff. So there's uh, all of that. Uh, CB Tactical, you're an awesome channel. Uh, he's doing a project with me uh, with uh, the Sharp Finger Knife. Uh, so definitely check that out. And I'll give him a shout out. Really cool dude. Uh, you know, just, but I put all these channels together. Like I said, for us, it's for people to grow. It's for people to find. And a lot of the suggestions that I get from the, uh, or for that list, come to me from you guys. From, you know, guys like Sue Chicken, uh, Stuart Harvey, Stuart Gross, uh, I can't tell you how many people have reached out to me and said, Hey, you know, I found this channel. It's a smaller channel. You know, can you add them to your list or give them a shout out or whatever? And, and I do because I was that little guy too. I still feel like I'm a little guy only at one K, but, uh, you know, all the, all the stuff that you get, all the friendships that you make, uh, which are the important things are the friendships, you know, that that's, more important to me than anything. I love it when guys talk to me in the comments. I love it if you send me email. Uh, I'm on Instagram. You can follow me there. I have an email and a in an Instagram in the uh, about section on the uh, YouTube channel. You know, I'm always up for you know just being there. As uh, you know, if you want to talk to me about something, we can we can do that. It's not a problem. Anyways. Uh, Let's get to this knife. I'm already, you know, been talking your ears off. I, I just, like I said, I just have to thank all of you because, you know, without all of you, we're not all together as, uh, you know, 1K. It, it's funny, uh, I, if you watched uh, Stuff We Do, he had, uh, he's recently just gotten to 2,000 and I kind of feel like, like, like he said it best. He said, when I started this thing out, I was hoping for five subs and a troll. And I think uh, that we all kind of are like that. We're all like, who, who's even going to watch this? Who's going to find this channel? And you just put stuff out there into the ether and you're not sure anybody's even watching, listening or caring. Uh, so it is really nice to, to get an audience uh, together, to get a group of people, a group of like-minded individuals that all we were here for is just to relax, take our minds off of the everyday, you know, stuff that's going on. And if you can spend five or 10 minutes watching one of my videos and it helps you, it helps you relax. It helps you find out about a knife you're interested in or whatever. And it just makes your day just a little bit better. That's the most I can hope for. It really is. That I think is uh, part of the goal of of the whole, you know, channel, is I just want to talk about knives and you know, and just spread a little uh, peace and love out there because that's what we need in this world. That's for sure. Anyways, on to the knife. This is a very special knife. Came to us from the Apex Group. You see on the pivot here, it has the D, and that's because this is. From the uh, Caviso Drop uh, family of uh, knives. What we have is a QSP Penguin. Absolutely gorgeous. It has a Mokotai clip. Which uh, Mokotai is best described as a uh, Damascus that's made out of uh, titanium. Very sharp. A lot of colors that are in there. And you can kind of see the pattern there in the light. This light doesn't do it justice. Uh, that's, you know, it's just a, a obviously a beautiful piece of uh, metal there. You have your standard uh, penguin 
lanyard hole that's there. And what we have for our blade is a uh, blade that is made of uh, S35VN. This was a drop exclusive. It has all titanium hardware. Uh, it's a frame lock and it's on ceramic bearings. We have a three inch blade. It's four inches closed, which is seven inches overall. And it comes in at a very svelte 3.2 ounces. Uh, this is just a really awesome blade, awesome action. Uh, you just have to be careful of the frame lock not to not to foul it because I've done that plenty of times. But uh, yeah, snaps right out there. Beautiful knife. Uh, we'll go to a new home. I'm going to miss it when it's gone. Uh, so that's what we're playing for. So here's the, uh, the contest rules is that uh, I will take a chance again. I was able to send my last uh, international uh, package when we did the 777 giveaway. And I had no problems uh, sending the knife uh, overseas to uh, England. So I just want you guys to know that if you're in a country where, you know, locking knives are not allowed or it's something that you can't have where you live, then uh, please, you know, uh, don't, uh, don't get it sent there and have it confiscated to uh, some uh, customs officer somewhere who will uh, have a fun time having a really cool knife. So if you can have it, uh, please enter. If you can't, then, uh, then maybe think about sitting this one out. All you have to do to enter is leave a comment on my uh, video, uh, on this video right here. Just leave a comment, no secret words. Uh, please just do one account only. I really want this to go to someone in the knife community. Uh, Gary just put up uh, from The Last Ranger, and thank you, Gary, for everything you've done for my channel because you you were a big part of it as well. Uh, I just, uh, you know, really want it to go to somebody that's been here for the whole time, somebody that uh, that's here, somebody that cares. You know, I, I would like it to go to, to one of us, one of us guys, one of the knife community, somebody that uh, that appreciates YouTube and the videos and the lives and all the other stuff that we do. And that's it. Uh, just just one comment. And uh, if you can have it, if it's in a jurisdiction that you live in that you can't have it, then I'd ask that you uh, not try to win it. Uh, you can try to win it for somebody else. If you can't own it yourself, you can choose someone else uh, to uh, do it. Uh, I know that they do that on SKL, so that that will be fair game as well. So that's pretty much uh, it for this one. I'm gonna go ahead and sign it off before it gets uh, a little too, too long. But uh, good luck to uh, all of you and uh, the we'll go ahead and do the uh, drawing uh, for uh, fun knife Friday this uh, this next Friday that'll be uh, what we'll do and if, if that changes uh, due to my schedule or something then I'll let you guys know actually you know what why don't we do that uh, before instead of doing it on fun knife Friday let's do it on Saturday so uh, next Saturday and of course, I'm out here. I don't have a calendar or anything out here in the garage. So uh, just be uh, the Saturday after after this. And uh, we'll do that. So like I said, thank you to everyone. If I forgot you, uh, please forgive me. I Like I said, I didn't make a list. But, uh, you know, you guys know who you are. Uh, Rhino and uh, a bunch of the other guys that... I talked to, uh, you know, Paladin uh, over on Instagram that you guys are, are always there. Swamp Yankee, he's there too. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys join in my Instagram crew and uh, come over here to the YouTube side and join in this as well. So anyways, this is getting long-winded. I'm going to sit here and just uh, 
try to pull names out of my head and it's and it's crazy all the all the people that I talk to and think about on a weekly basis it's uh it's crazy anyways uh that's it for this one again sorry <laughs> I probably shouldn't say that as much I'm gonna get out of here I'll see you guys soon I can't wait to see your comments I'm gonna enjoy the heck out of this have a fun knife Friday and have a fun knife uh every day you know you should you should have fun with your knives every single day and so i will uh definitely definitely uh talk to you guys later